But um, going right for children with homework is two dollars to read, do their maths page, do their sight words, and sign the diary on my behalf. I might have to hire <laughs> Millie. Sign the diary on your behalf. Yeah, I'm just gonna sign it. it for me. Like, oh I'm my god, done. Millie's gonna go to high school and like, oh yeah. <laughs> Where's Moto? Oh, I've got a note from Mum <laughs> saying that I can have the week off school. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ashley Goodchild and welcome to the PM Collective Podcast, where I invite you to listen to opinions and stories that are relevant in the property management world. I hope you enjoy today's episode. All right, today on the PM Collective Podcast, I have Casey from Soco Realty and Shannon from Property Assist joining me. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Now, there's two reasons. Well, actually, there's only one reason why I've got you here today, and that is because you have both recently had babies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Shannon, your, 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 how old is Isla? Yeah, yeah, Isla. She's 11 weeks. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. She's fresh. She's very fresh. <laughs> totally fresh. Good yeah. way to put it. <laughs> yeah. And, and your first? Yes, yeah. my first. Congratulations. Thank you. Did you not know that? No, you look amazing, by the way. Oh, so do you. So do you. <laughs> <laughs> and Casey, how old is Ella? Um, she is getting on to nearly six months oh, now. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. And oh. then the other two, agents? Oh, yeah. So I've got about the other two. Well, I, I, I know about the other two, but tell um, everyone Yes, so two. I have a uh, 12-year-old and a 10-year-old oh, as well. That's fun. Yeah. That sounds fun. It's not fun. It is. It oh, it is. Like when they're older, it's fun because you have little helpers. <laughs> yeah, so well, that's it's, true. It's good. Yeah. yeah. And then I'll speak from my experience. So I've got the three as well. And then I've also got three extras of... My partner's. Oh, cool. So, yeah. not cool, really, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like strong singing in my head. <laughs> it's like Brady Bunch. Is that it, 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 you know what? It's totally Brady Bunch. The um, the ages are 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, wow. And we have them full-time. And they go to their parents every second weekend, same weekend. And that is happening in about five hours. Oh, <laughs> not <God>. counting. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm a little excited. So, um, yeah. I, I totally, yeah. This morning, as, as I was leaving the house and I woke Lindsay up, I said, listen, you're going to have to get up. I'm leaving the house. And he goes, is it one of those mornings? Went, it's one of those mornings. Like, mm. I, I had made porridge for one of the kids and to like, it's dry. I was like, it's not dry. Like, just put more milk in it. And then I go out, she goes, it's just oats and milk. Like, that's what that's porridge, porridge is. is. <laughs> <laughs> just eat it. Just eat it. I've got to go. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, oh, that was that's my funny. life this morning. That's so, um, the I, I love women in working in the property management field and um, managing motherhood, which I think we all do very, very easily. Um, so I am going to go through a few questions so that listeners that maybe have the children or maybe listeners that want to have children, because I think there's a lot of them, can sort of get an understanding directly from you guys what um, what to expect and maybe just a little few tips of what um, they should do um, with the planning of you know, taking time off with children. So let's start off with you, <coughs> Shannon. So how long did you have off with maternity leave? <laughs> I guess, so I had Isla on the 20th of December. So most agencies closed up while I was off work, essentially. Um, so I had four weeks where I had regular updates from Shay, our office manager, um, and that was all I really heard. So that was really, really nice. Like, um, to when, be honest, you, I didn't I was think... just going to say, when we have time off, you still, still keep an eye on your email slightly. Yes, but yeah. yeah, yeah. But that was probably where it was... Um, probably the biggest step away I've had from the business, like, ever. And that yeah. was scary. It's a weird um, feeling. It, yeah, it was yeah. really weird. Um, but it went really quick, obviously, with yeah. a newborn, as it, it does. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, so about four weeks. Um, and then after that, I've, yeah, started just increasing what I'm doing and things like that. So, yeah, it wasn't. But over that four weeks, I guess it was Christmas and New Year. So yeah, most agencies timing. close up. So it was really good timing. Yeah. yeah. So. And so how has it changed you going back to work now? Are you working from like, I don't even know if you guys work from home or. Yeah. So I have been into the office once since I've had Isla. Oh, really? Yeah. Well we, we're fully online. Yeah. So I don't need to go to the office. Um, the office is there to allow key drop-offs and things like that and Shay to have a base so she doesn't have to work from home all the time. Um, but, yeah, like I haven't really had to so be in there. It makes sense to me now to think four weeks, wow. Yeah, like, yeah. Wow, but now I understand. Yeah, yeah. 100%. That's I'm awesome. working from home. Um, and, yeah, like I guess we're not in a routine with Isla um, at yet 
I would love to be. I think that was one of my biggest challenges. Like at two weeks, I was messaging my girlfriend saying, okay, how, when do we start this sleep and feed schedule? And they just laughed at me. They were like, what are you thinking? You how like- can you do this? <laughs> like, you can't do that yet. Just leave the poor thing to sleep really? and feed when she wants. No, yeah. See, oh, see, I would say, I would sort of start that straight away. I, so yeah. I was more fussy on the feeding. Like I would wake the kids up. Would if, you? If, if yeah. it was time to be fed, you got woken up, you got fed. And I, but I didn't have a schedule with they're sleeping yeah they okay. just, if I felt, felt that if they just fed then they would just they would sleep when they're tired and it, yeah. worked, it worked for me it works mm. different for yeah. everyone but yeah, yeah. so yeah. you haven't done either I yeah so when she first got weighed she was like completely fine with her weight um to the point where the child health nurse sort of said look don't offer it to her whenever she's asked. Whenever she moves her tongue, she's probably just realised she has a tongue. I just love myself in the office there when people come with chocolates. I'm like, don't offer her yeah. any more chocolate. So, yeah, so I think um, once I got the weight thing under control, then I was like, okay, I don't need to be um, every two to three hours, even though she was still wanting it then anyway. And, um, yeah, so it kind of like, and I wanted to be able to go out and do a lot of things. So I didn't want to have to have her bound to like a bed at home mm. at certain times. Um, so I, in saying that, like we've got the idea of when she's feeding into a routine, um, but I still, she'll sleep if we go to mum's or whatever. So sometimes I have, I've gone to mum's for the day. Um, if I've got, you know, a fair bit of work that I need to get done during the day, I'll go there and she'll have a nap there. And yeah, so she's kind of got used to it, I guess. Yeah. A little bit, but it's not like this strict routine that I would just, totally had her on until I realised, I was like, okay, we can just relax a little bit. Yeah. She'll be fine if I do relax. And then she has been. So we've been able to mix it up, I guess. Yeah, I'm the same. Yeah. I don't have any set routine. You don't? Yeah. yeah. Like bedtime, I'd like her down by 7, 7.30. 100% bedtime. Me, yes. For my time. Isn't it? You just need so, like that hour or two yeah. after. And mm-hmm. then you kind of stay up a little bit too late and you're like, oh, God, why did I do that? Yeah. <laughs> and then get back. It's like you've got to remind yourself to go do it again the next night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's cool. That's and then, and what about your intentions? Like, so that's what you're doing um, now. So do you have intentions to um, put her into daycare or to have a nanny or to do yeah, anything? Like, my or? mom is really hands-on. Yeah. Um, she just loves her. Um, yep. So I guess. First grandchild? Yes. Yeah, great. Yeah. So um, that's, yeah, I, daycare, I will be honest, it scares me. The germs scare me. I don't know if that's anybody else, but it, it we'll does. Go, we'll go and tell you. Yeah. We'll come to yeah. you in a minute. <laughs> um, the, it just, I think because I've had, um, I guess, other friends that have had to go to daycare and things like that and it some have had great experiences and some haven't so if I don't have to then I won't yeah. but if I do then 100% yeah, yeah I will and and that's it absolutely it's really pricey it's very costly yeah mm. yeah so at the moment I mean but look she's only 11 weeks so like when I get to six months I may want to do that like oh, yeah. yeah a little bit older then I'd definitely consider it. But right now you're happy with your... Yeah. Yeah, mainly from home. Yeah. Yeah, and um, delegating and managing. Yeah. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Casey, how long did you have off on maternity leave with Ella? Uh, So I had six months off, um, yeah, with Ella. Prior, like, with my other kids, I was a stay-at-home mum for eight years before that. But, yeah, and then, like, property management was my next job. So with Ella going in at six months, like, I had a little bit of anxiety because I've not left my kids in there that little before right. so I get how you feel yeah um and I could also see um you know the the cost of daycare mm. it's 143 a day that's insane yeah but you know oh whatever God, you, you get like... rebates or whatever you're yeah. for it but it, at the end of the day it's 143 dollars a day mm. and I can see why I mean I love my job so I was still doing things even while I wasn't at work but I can see how some people don't go back to work because it's not they end up pulling like 20 bucks yeah, out of their paycheck because the rest goes to daycare. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, but I can, I I can see all sorts of different angles with 
with it. Yeah. Because I read a, um, a book and I wish I remembered the name of the book, but it was actually talking about how, like, with females, if you do have that maternity leave off and let's say, you know, you had eight years off and you then get back into the workforce, then you're sort of starting again from base level with your so income. Hard. And oh, Yeah, it was so wow. hard. That's really but true. But if you Isn't look it? at daycare as an investment for your career, and so, yes, you're paying so much, you know, per week, but it's an investment so that your salary mm. will go up over time mm. so that in five years when you normally would go back to work after maternity leave, your salary is going to be so much higher than what it would have been otherwise. Yeah. So mm. looking at it as a career investment as opposed to a daycare. And yeah. not just that, like it's good for her. Um, ever since she was little, I always asked her to pay for it. Yes. I did that with my other two. Yeah. So, you know, when she goes to daycare now, she puts her hands out because she's, you know, she's familiar with them That's now good. and, yeah. you know, so she she enjoys her there. And luckily where I've got her, there's only three other, like, babies. The oldest one is 18 months. Yeah. And the other two are, like, nine months, I think. So she's the littlest one at the moment. Yeah. But it's just them and yeah. the two girls and it, it's it's beautiful. Like, it's it's really, really nice yeah. like, to see that she's not, if there was, like, 15 other babies in there, I'd be like, nah, I they can't handle it you type of thing. That. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's good the interaction. I hundred percent with. Mm. I agree with that. Like yeah, again, just other people's experiences and seeing you know where people have gone to daycare and haven't, and it's just they're just it's different. Isn't yeah, it? and I deliberately put her in a daycare that's one straight back from work. So oh, that cool. That's it made me feel because I live north but work south and. Yeah. Her being that far north, I just didn't feel yeah. comfortable. So knowing that if they ever need me, if she's not well, that I'm just that's I a really good idea. And, yeah, good tip. go see her. So that that makes life a lot easier for me. Yeah. Too. Mm. Well, I did daycare. Actually, all my kids came to work with me when they were born. And I used to, um, back in the day, um, put them in a bouncer. Yeah, I remember you telling me this story. In the front of the window display at the office. And I was in a bouncer. So when people. kids for a lease or something. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) When people like. Rent a kid. No, but when people were looking at the window cards, they'd see like a little baby and they'd like talk to the baby and then and then keeps I, them occupied too. Keeps like. them occupied and I could get hear a robot person go, Where's the mum? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? And then I would just like and then I would just like everyone, you know, would get passed around. But quite often I find with babies, and the reason why I went like I had them at work so early is because they literally just fed and Slept, so yeah, I yeah, literally yeah. And could just hold her and feed her that's while I was doing part. everything. Yeah, that is the yeah. easy that's part. That's the easy part. And then, yeah. but it's when they get to six months, you got to start feeding them. Yeah, then it's like that's when it becomes a bit harder, and that's when mine went to daycare. So we did daycare when I just had Mill um, because that was the more cost-effective option. But then when I had George, it was um, cheaper for me to actually have a nanny. To look mm. after the kids, you know, um, so that was cheaper. And then when I had the third, it was actually cheaper to have an au pair. Yeah, so the okay. au pair would, um, she lived with us Monday to Friday. Um, but that that only cost me $150 a week for three days of looking after wow. three children, like an absolute bargain. So that was cheap for me. $150 a week. Yeah, that's interesting. Yes, because they, they could, but they live with you. Yeah, oh, so, so you've you got to provide for like every water. Oh, okay. Yeah, but but because we had a spare room, we could do it. And the other benefit was um, that, and we just got lucky with her, to be honest, because she had family in Swan Valley. So I got her just to work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and she would actually go away to her auntie's house for Friday to Monday. Like I couldn't have asked for it to be any mm. better. Uh. Yeah, so for me, like, that was an absolute bargain. So that's yeah. what it is a bargain. Yeah, so that's, that's what we did. I think a lot of people wouldn't really know about that whole side of Option. it, though. Or au pair? Yeah. yeah. So there's, a, there's some kids at my kids' school that have au pairs because I think he's five foot. I think she's a nurse. Right. So, um, yeah, so there's Need that. The but like help. you, my, my mum and dad look after Ella two days a week. So oh, cool. I haven't got her in for the full for the full so week. So you've gone back full time? I've gone back full time, but yeah. mum retired last year. So it's oh, kind of landed quite that's quite well. Ideal. But I said to mum, I don't want you to feel like you're locked into this. No, absolutely. if you go away, yeah. um, this particular daycare, because she's in for a set two days, allows me to put her in for the casual days yeah. if mum and dad want to go away for you know, a couple of weeks. So that's the benefit of um, of having children Parents. later in life. Well, I was just going to say <laughs> being a geriatric, you know. Uh, <laughs> mother, you know, your parents yeah. are retired. Yeah. I'm like, well, you've done everything in the cupboards that you wanted to do during COVID. Like, everything's clean. Like, <laughs> you, you know. Like, Here's another done, job. Mum's <laughs> like, what am I going to do? I'm like, well, you've already organised everything. Like, 
everything's done. Like, yeah. how many more times can you redo it? Redo it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have a grandchild. Keep <laughs> exactly, exactly. okay, you busy. <laughs> and what were you guys most nervous about leaving to go on your maternity leave? I'll start with you, Case. Um, mine was my portfolio because I'm very. Um, I'm very personal with my with my tenants. So the people that I put mm. in there, um, you know, you end up knowing about their life. Like you end up developing that friendship with them. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, I had to pass a few on. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that was really hard for me to, because I treat my Let portfolio go. like it's my little business. So when I have to say goodbye to that, it was a, I had to, that was a hard yeah. pull to swallow. But um, who they went to, I knew that they'd be fine, but it was still like, yeah, when are you coming back? Like, what are you? I'm like, oh, yeah, about that. <laughs> um, but I still, like, contact them as so I'm back, you know, how's the family sort of thing. Um, but that was pretty much the only... Um, worry. Yeah. Really yeah. worry. But they were, you guys were always like, oh, you know, it was like, oh, your job's always going to be here when you get back. Like, yeah. how long are you going to be? You know, when are you going to be back? So that, that oh, felt really so nice. nice. And We yeah. were really lucky, like, with Case and what um, she did is, like, you pretty much came into the office nearly every Thursday just about. So Kate, Friday, free lunch Friday. Friday. <laughs> free lunch Friday. I can't remember. Um, but, Times are tough. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Yeah. yeah. But it was... Um, it, well, actually, let's do a little quick little shout out to My Connect because My Connect are the ones that we do our Uber Eat Friday yeah. spot on, oh, our, on our Visa card. Yeah, oh, so, so yeah. Little shout out to My Connect, they're fabulous. Um, but that was great of Casey to, she didn't just take maternity leave and we didn't see her or have anything to do with it. She yeah. still came in regularly to the office and interacted and she you stayed on top of your social media and like she never left. And I think that that was really awesome mm. to, do, to do that. And and it, it made it feel like you never left. Yeah. Literally the first day back last week, it was kind of like I maybe had a month off. Yeah. I asked maybe three questions because uh, Natalie, who looked after my portfolio, did such a good job and she's still there, which is which is awesome. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I maybe asked her three or four questions and then that was pretty much mm. about it. But I, I think because of the, how good or well, fast the rent was, I, there's really not really much that I – needed to do yeah really mm. but um yeah that was pretty much it really mm. those two things what mm. was um Shannon what's the most thing that you were nervous about like having a baby and having running a business yeah it was my clients and what they would think if I wasn't in the business like 100% I like were panic like where are you going well you going? yeah <laughs> but you know what I was so in my head about it I because we didn't announce um that I was pregnant until probably a fair bit later than what most people would and um, it was because I was worried about what they would think Um, and I have a lot of my clients on Facebook and stuff like that and I don't even know why I worried because I have no idea why you would have worried. I know about that. it's I it is it really first, and it is a I lot think going on yeah, and, yeah and I just yeah like my business was my first baby and yeah. like if I don't know if people, if I'm not there. It was, yeah, it was just, it, and it's ridiculous. Like yeah. the amount of um, business owners that messaged me personally to say, please pick up the phone and call me if you need to speak about yeah. anything. I couldn't believe it. Like I was like, why was I even worried about this? Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, it has not affected the business whatsoever. No. Yeah. And if anything, like my clients, we now have like a personal chat every time that I, I'm on the phone rather than talk about work. Yeah, about like business. it's, yeah. yeah. So that was just, yeah, that was well, the only. Sort of, yeah. Well, you've sort of opened yourself up personally to the clients, which is really yeah. important, which is good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that was probably, and I really like to know everything that's going on. Um, so I always seem to stick my finger in whenever I shouldn't <laughs> and I should just leave it to Shay because she we just... call that control. Yeah. <laughs> and I know I'm like, Shay is more than capable, obviously, and um, I think she probably enjoyed the little break as well. Like yeah. <laughs> for me, from not, yeah, from me, <laughs> not totally being like, what's going on? What is happening with this? When are we doing yeah. this? What's what's this? So, so you're so. going to start hearing from Shay, don't you have another baby? Yeah, 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 probably. <laughs> Hurry up. Yeah, yeah. I will not be saying the same thing to Casey. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah so We're no. good. Yeah. <laughs> um, what is the hardest thing to manage now? You guys are both at work, Shannon, who you find the hardest? Um, I think it's 
probably just the time, like like I was saying before, without routine, if she doesn't want to take her two-hour nap in the middle of the day that I love and she only goes for 45 minutes or half an hour, sometimes 20 minutes, I will sort of try and do a bit of work at that, like, bigger sleep point. So if she doesn't, if she does wake app, up. I'm going to tell you about. Ooh, ooh, okay. <laughs> like a sleeping app. Oh, good. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, so if she doesn't sleep for that full time, then I can't really get what I need to done, I guess. So that's probably... You yeah. end up doing it like at night time. I do, it, yes. You sleep. Yeah, then, yeah. yeah. Um, but that's where I just have to sort of change it, I guess, just change my thought around it. And, and it's not I've got, like, yeah. they'll eventually, like, everything will start changing and then yes. you'll be in a routine again. I and think, yeah, don't they sort of say a bit from three months, they probably, you probably need to start getting them into more of a routine. They prefer that. Yeah. So we're almost there, I guess. Um, but, yeah, if I'm not at mum's or whatever and I am at home or whatnot, then that's the only thing that I really, yeah, kind of can't. Struggle. With, yeah, guess, struggle. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just that uncertainty of when Think like that routine. Yeah. yeah. I'm so used to routine. So when I haven't put it in place with her, I'm like, oh God, this is everything's what's happened. gonna happen next. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I found like maybe sometimes like doing any important work like early in the morning. I know it's sometimes yes. hard when you got a baby to wake up early, but that's the time when I knew that I was guaranteed to get my chunk of work yeah. done. And then it didn't matter what was on for the rest of the day because yeah. I got up. I mean, there was times where I actually got up at about 4.30 Yeah, I was like, I know that that time I can get an hour's worth of work done. Mm. Yeah, so she's feeding at four th- between 4.30 and 6. She'll yeah. wake up at some point okay. then. Yeah. So you'd have to get up at like 3. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I could, <laughs> why not? Yeah, no, <laughs> Just right. don't sleep, Janet. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah, it was funny. I used to reply when she was feeding every like three hours. I used to reply to email. Yeah. at like one o'clock in the morning and my yeah. clients would be like, like what are you, doing? you really do have a newborn, don't you? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, well, why not? Like, I don't have to think about it the next day. Exactly, exactly. Um, but yeah, I'm sure once we get into a bit more of a routine, then yeah. that won't be a real struggle, I guess. And, and very lucky that like the jobs, um, you can just respond yeah. at any time yes. during the day. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're not your typical nine to five. Yes. So yeah. very fortunate. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah. What do you struggle with the most case? Um, well, my partner's FIFO. Uh, so at the moment, and the roster is just kind of all over the place, but it's usually away for two, maybe back for four days oh, wow. or maybe five days. It just depends. Um, so it's basically so you're like getting one of those the three mums. kids that, <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm very like on the go and I'm very, I don't have patience. So everything has to be done like now, yeah. like now, <laughs> get in the car now. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't mind the challenge. It's good. But, um, you know, like when Ella wakes up, I've got to make sure that, okay, she has to be fed by seven because by the time it's eight, she's going to be a little bit tired, which means I hit the freeway at eight. Yeah. She has a nap. Yeah. And then by the time she gets to daycare, she kind of wakes up and she's fresh yeah, for daycare. Cool. Um, my daughter's in high school now, so she's busing with her friends, so I don't have to do uh, awesome. two, like three different drop-offs now. Mm-hmm. Um, my son takes his scooter to school, so I'm like, okay, you're done. Yeah. But it's, it's yeah, it's it's fast. So it's like mm-hmm. freeway, work, freeway, pick up the kids, sports. Yeah, like it's, you've got all When that you're too. on your own, it's, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. It can be very, a um, little bit overwhelming. But Ash has always been really good with helping me, you know. When I used to coach last year, my daughter's netball team, I'd leave it, you know, at four. Mm-hmm. But I would make up the hour the next day or mm-hmm. even this time because my mum has my um, little one on a Thursday. She hasn't got a Car, um, baby seat or anything so yeah. there's no way to take my daughter to dancing so I have to be the one yeah. to take her to dance so that's Jug- juggling it juggling everything I think I've pretty much got it down well, down you're only two weeks into it aren't you yeah oh, I'm yeah. pretty much down pat. I'm, I'm very independent I like giving myself that um, challenge, but mm-hmm. sometimes I'm st- like still in my work gear at eight thirty at night. Yeah, or I'll bath her, and I'll be like stripping my clothes off and going, you know, to my son. Can you just grab my nightie off the door? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know, so that I can. And by the time I sit down, I've really dodgy for the moment. By the time I sit down, it's just I'm exhausted, yeah. and then it's up. And I'm doing it all over again. So mm. yeah, but everything That's else, cool. work wise, everything else is is perfect. Mm. It's just. The yeah, time I'm pretty sure I've got that. Though, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got it down pat. But 
Yeah, good we'll on say. you. We'll say for <laughs> doing yeah. that. Far out. No, she's doing very, yeah. very well. And like, and, and I'll be honest, like from a um, an employer point of view, and I guess if there's employees that are listening, um, you know, if you were someone that says, um, you know staff getting pregnant and maternity leave and, and, fle- and you know, the flexibility side of things, I would honestly say I'm not a flexible um, flexible boss. So Case has had to come back full time because that is the structure mm-hmm. that works best for our office. Um, and she we give her flexibility with, you know, certain things that are important, like netball coaching might be important and merit certificates and assemblies mm. is important. And there's things that are important, but it's also not a problem if she's running late for work and it's not a problem if she was to one day say, Ash, I'm just needing a mental health day like Mm. that those things are not a problem Mm, um as well so while I don't actually well I don't feel that case gets a lot of flexibility from our point of view um there is moments of flexibility that we can Mm. give her ad hoc Mm -hmm. um as she needs because she's only two weeks into it and I would suggest in, in about four weeks she might actually say Ash, I, I'm at the pub. It's 7am. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm and, having a gin. But, but I would say because that's totally cool. Like my staff mm. are pretty good like yeah. that. If I've got, if they're having a really hard week, um, quite often, you know, and it hardly ever happens, but there's times where they will say, Ash, I'm needing to have a sickie this Friday because I just am drained. And I don't mind mm. that. Like it's yeah. like a planned sickie. Totally cool. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, so I guess I just wanted to throw that in there with people that think, oh, you're just lucky because you've got a flexible boss. I'm actually not that flexible, so yeah. I don't want people. But I think there's, there's there's people, you know, there's there's pull on the pierce, and then yes. there's yes. genuinely, that you know, and awesome. Ash knows that if you know if I need to go to attend to something, that I'll make that time up, or that mm. you know, and I think sometimes, I think you've got an open like communication. Yes between the two and of you it, and that's where you trust well. that what she's asking for or what she needs is actually what she needs. What she needs. Yeah. Right. yeah. And I think that sometimes can, yeah. yeah. Like and, I kinda, and I think too, as someone that, um, like I'll be, I'll be honest. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, there are other companies, let's just say that might pay more for a property manager. Mm. But for me, um, sometimes it's not always about the wage. So for me, it's kind of like, well, Ash and Bill allow me to be, um, you know, like you said, like assemblies and do this. And when my kids look back, they can say, you know, unfortunately their, their dad's boss isn't as flexible. Um, but, you know, I was at their mm. merit certificates. I was at their racing carnivals. Mm. I was, you know, mm. and to me that means more, more. than, <laughs> you know, going somewhere else because it's it's family. They're like yeah. family to me and we all get it. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and also because they, um, I'm very lucky in that if someone is sick, generally they have sorted it out with their their peers, their colleagues, and so it's not actually a problem. So by the time mm. I hear they need to have their day off, they've actually sorted stuff out because they actually don't. The team don't want to let each other down because yeah. they know that if they have the day off, someone That's else is so going to nice. have to pick up the pieces. Where you get some officers where they get they don't actually have that same team camaraderie do mm. they and so they have the, the it's like a burden they kind of all yeah, work yeah. themselves and don't yeah. really want to help other people and that's it's, a big yeah. difference i think mm. um where where it's it's fine you guys uh, you, do, you are like family you do um sort of that mm. yourselves um mm. oh, these podcasts are going so quick this morning it's like already been half an hour so i'm just yeah i know oh wow so um <laughs> so i just wanted to um do one more um thing question and that was on delegation so is there anything that you guys delegate in your personal lives that help you being a working mum? Case. Mm. You might not. I, can't, I don't think there is actually. Is there? I think no. you pretty much do it all yourself. Apart from your mum. Yeah, apart from mum. Yeah, mum and, and, and dad like and we'll, godsend. And we'll but, call daycare a delegation in a way. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, those two things, um, that's that's pretty much mm. it for now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for me, for <laughs> <laughs> we, since I started my business, my husband started his own sort of business. He works for himself as well. Um, and we work long, we work long hours. Um, so we have invested in a cleaner, a I gardener, love how, I love how she's, and a pool. Like, like that's a bad thing. Like a bad thing. <laughs> I'm over here going, I'm so jealous. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, um, like literally my husband is a plumber by trade and we pay 
a plumber to fix our tap. Like it's it's that one of those fine. things that yeah. we, I know, right? I'm like, I don't get that. Yeah. <laughs> but my brother used to be and a no plumber. And no one does. No one does. touch a toilet. Yeah. I'm like, dude, you're a plumber. Yeah, it. yeah. So, so you got, so you, um, you got the cleaner, the gardener and the pool paper. So you've got your home um, delegation. And yeah. That, that, that would save you so much time. And that's why yeah. I do it because, yeah, yeah like yeah. I wanted to put everything into the business and I love doing business stuff mm, yeah. for the business. So mm. that's why, yeah, we did it. Um, he works really late nights. So he, yeah, often doesn't get home till sort of, or back this in the house This would probably be my next thing because when Glenn gets back from his swing, yeah. you know, now that I'm back working full time, I might only see him a few hours a day. Yeah. And be like, okay, we're all up for those four days. I saw you for about ten hours. Yeah. So when and then it comes you to delegation, to that might change and, when he gets mm, back yeah. and say, "Oh, mum, would you mind having the kids on a sad day so that my relationship, yeah, so that I can." And that's why know, we did it. That's why we spent that done. money on those things so that the time that we do have, where we're both not working, we have a Friday Arvo yeah. date day every now and then. Like if it time. can happen, we go out and do something yeah. rather than like fixing stuff at the house or you know. Well, sometimes we stopped past Bunnings to get pool salt, you know, and bring it home. But that's like as far as it would go. (laughs) Like, yeah. yeah. So um, that's probably what, yeah, we, but I've always delegated that. So that's kind of just in my personal life. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I guess I delegate Isla to my mum when I need to get my lashes done. Yeah. (laughs) Speaking of it. You know, I was, and I feel terrible. Mum's like, just go and get it done. Like, and I forget she's done it like, what, three times before. So, (laughs) yeah. Yeah. So. And I find, and I think cleaners and gardeners are great to delegate. And I think that there's some people out there that will say, well, that's all well and good if you can afford it. And what I would say to those people is that if you, everyone's got a different like level. So for example, like a cleaner, to be honest, is a pretty cheap option, yeah. 25 mm. an hour. Um, and you can get them for two hours a week. Let's call That's it, let's just work do. on that. Yep. So 50 bucks. Now you don't actually have to get them in every week. Like if you can afford every week, then great. But you might only be able to afford that cleaner for two hours every fortnight. Mm-hmm. $25 a week is pretty good. Or you might say, actually, I can only afford it once a month. So you know what? Do mm. two hours a month. I'll get them yeah. to even focus on like, let's say the bathroom. Yes. Everyone yeah. hates cleaning the bathroom. Be like, okay, I'll do the easy bit. Yeah. You guys can work on that for the next two hours. Because yeah. Because that would take yeah. me probably four hours yeah. <laughs> by the time I finish scrubbing and, and doing everything. And then, yeah. yeah. So when we, so I had done some cleaning the other day and I just happened to have free time. The house is pretty easy to clean. So we do have a clean every every fortnight. But I had um, already done it. And, but because Lindsay doesn't like to cancel the cleaner because he's like, well, yeah. you know, she's relying on that money too. Mm. So what I did is I got her instead to do the pantry yeah. and the oven because yeah. I was like, they're two things I do not. Mm. I don't. I actually don't mind cleaning toilets and bathrooms. I just don't want to do the pantry and the oven. Yeah. So she did that. So That's and what, next time I'd get her to the windows if yeah. I. But what I um, we we're having a bit of a laugh because we we're talking about pocket money for the kids, and then he was like, he said to me, oh, I'll, yeah. I'll, you know, I'll give you three dollars to clean this person's room or whatever." And then I was like, "Oh, would you give me a hundred bucks if I like clean the house?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he was like, well, actually, "If you want to, like, absolutely." And I was like, "You know what? I don't mind cleaning the house, but I don't have to do it." So, it's, but. I said, if we cancelled yeah. the cleaner and I had to do it every week, yeah. I tell you what, I'd be off it. Mm, yeah. But the fact that I don't have to do it. And you have 12 kids to it's look after. It's a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't mind it. So, you know. That helps. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I guess if you are someone that says, I can't afford it, then just look at doing it once a month, which is like the equivalent of But you better like air tasks go. Is it S- air Oh, air my God. Is it you nuts? can put like, how much yeah. you can afford and then people yeah. are going to say yes or some people are going to be like, you know, there's some like older guys that do gardening. That That's are like, how I, I, would, I want that money. So yeah. yeah, I'll come and do like mow your lawn for thirty bucks or whatever. Yeah, well, I've got a garden that I use that's twenty five dollars, and he can do our whole house. And it's a big block for fifty bucks. Like, yeah, he's a hard gardener. You same know. with that. I feel like we've got the same one. Oh, really? <laughs> I leave him more money half the time yes. because I feel yes. bad. Yes. I'm like, just take. No. Okay, oh, so God. No. <laughs> 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 okay. 
Yeah, I'm the same. Yeah. I rounded up sometimes. And he's yeah. just, I found him on Air Tasker and he was like, I just want to like help people out. And then yeah. I just kept getting him to come back. Yeah. And he was like, I just want something to yeah, do. Like, give me it. something to like, I want to feel important. Like, give me something to do. Yeah. yeah. So, so these things aren't too expensive. If they far outweigh, um, yeah. you know, what you're earning, I guess, um, in terms of um, mm. working. It. And I think I was going to finish off today just with a few. Actually, I'll tell you what I delegate. So yeah. I delegate cleaning. Um, I occasionally get a gardener, so I only just ad hoc when I need someone. I might get them in for two hours, but that might be like a couple of times a year, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Um, And I was going to say I delegate the lawn mowing to Lindsay, but it's his house, so he he (laughs) moves me. But I actually, I know this sounds really weird, but I um, have started delegating the chores to the kids as well, so giving them a couple of dollars to vacuum the house. Um, You know, I did offer them $5 to clean my car. You know, things like that. It's still a form of delegation. Mm. So if you had children at home, you could potentially have a chore plan Mm -mm. so that your kids can do it all. Yeah, um, like Chase does my, he does like my, all right, today's Friday bin day. Yeah, da, da, cool. da, da, da. yeah, And did you do your homework? With him, it's it's a bit different to Misha. So with Misha, she's a little mum. So mm. she is, you know, she's like, Mum, I've done the bottles, I fed Ella, I've changed her. Oh. You know, so she's she gets paid a little bit bit more. Um, because Chase will find like two bucks on the ground and be like, oh my God, let's go to Kmart. <laughs> and Misha's got like two hundred dollars sitting in a savings account and won't touch it. Um but yeah, I've always tried to give them that responsibility of have pride in your room. I shouldn't have to pay you to do your homework, mm. but I'm all for bribery, whatever. Yeah. Um, you know, if it gets it, it works. done, it works, you know, so I'm all for... Well, yeah. and I told you the other day that I've um, started paying Millie $2 to do the youngest ho- the homework with the youngest because I can't stand oh. sitting for an hour and reading and I don't even homework. understand it. Oh. I don't get my kids' math it's and he's like hard. year five oh. and I just pass it on to me. Well, so <laughs> I... Can you please deal with this because I literally don't know what... They're saying. Mm. She's like, oh, yeah, I hate this one, but this is how it works. And I just sat there and I felt well, so Well, dumb. the going rate for children with homework is $2 to read, do their maths page, do their sight words and sign the diary on my behalf. I might have to hire <laughs> Millie. Sign the diary on your behalf. Yeah, I just going to sign it. it for me. Like, oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> Millie's going to go to high school and, like, oh, yeah. Where's Nita? Oh, I've got a note from Mum yeah. <laughs> saying yeah. that I can have the week off school. <laughs> Ashley, is this your signature? <laughs> yeah. My signature's easy. Um, the other thing that I don't delegate because I enjoy doing it, but it's a really great delegation, is HelloFresh uh, or Dinner Twist. Oh, so I still need to try this. I'm just not into Yeah, it. so I did yeah. and I think just with Isla at the moment, it's just real sporadic between yeah. like five to sort of eight. Now she's down at seven for, she's been down at seven for a while, but I just, I don't know, maybe I'm complicating it too much, but sometimes I just take bloody ages to actually cook it. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah. And I, I don't know, I probably read it like but five it's like, times. It's like and 20, then, minutes, 20 minutes, it tells I, you how long it should take. I know. But I, it's probably in between like trying to sort her out as well. And I'm doing it like probably at the right can, time, so I just you can see put it Shannon. On pause. Shannon thinks a lot, doesn't she? <laughs> you're an overthinker, <laughs> Shannon. Absolutely, oh, right. yeah. <laughs> because I, you're giving me anxiety. Oh no, <laughs> my heart. I'm going. <laughs> oh, no. What is she doing now? Uh, oh, sorry. Okay, so you didn't find that that was helpful. <laughs> um, before I I did. Yeah, we yeah, used yeah. it for a long while. But yeah, I put it on pause the other week, so I was like, I can't. This yeah. is taking too long. Yeah, Uber eats. Yeah, oh, that's been great. Yeah, (laughs) (laughs) but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, tips for working mums, Shannon, you go first. Um, what's your little? Do you have a little trick or a tip or a bit of advice? Don't overthink. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Oh god. Um, I think being comfortable working from home, probably if you've got that ability to work from home. (laughs) Um, yeah I think um working from home would be ideal um but obviously that depends yeah um yeah not I think when my girlfriend said to me right from the start like two weeks is a little too early (laughs) for the routine um Putting her into the routine, like I felt stressed about trying to make that happen because I did try it and it she wouldn't go down at that time or whatever mm. it was. Um, and so as soon as I just 
got rid of that and threw that out the window. I was like, oh, thank God. Like I didn't feel stressed about it. And yeah, I just squeeze things into the slots that she's asleep. Um, but again, she's really little, so she's yeah. only 11 weeks. Um, but yeah, try to get as much sleep as you can, I guess, in the start. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably another tip. I was lucky. My hubby was home for the first two weeks. Um, and that first nap that she had, if she was napping for long enough, I would nap too. So mm. yeah. yeah, but Excellent. Yeah. Well, you're doing well. I think you're doing well. I oh, think so. Too. <laughs> okay. Okay. So t- tip for you. Um, I think this time around for me, um, I'll be like honest, like your mental, your mental health, just with regards to like being tired. And mm. um, so Ella was my second cesarean. Um, yeah. And even when I got home, like I, I kept doing the things I was normally doing and I shouldn't be yeah. doing that. Um, and yeah, I think I maybe overdid it a little bit too much. Like yeah. trying to take on the control part of me. Too just, early. Yeah, go, 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 go. And then I just exhausted yeah. um, myself a little bit. So I think, you know, listen to your body and if it wants to just chill out, then just chill out, just you know. Yeah. yeah, probably that and, and time management, but more personal, I'd probably say just, yeah, take care of your health and look after yeah, you. Yeah, look after you because if you can't function, then your kids can't function yeah. properly. Like they, and they need notice you and it. then your work needs you and it's just, yeah, yeah gets a bit too much. So that's why when Ash sometimes has like your mental health days, like yeah. you do actually just need a, a minute. To just, yeah. you know, it could for maybe a Wednesday when Ella's with mum and I might just go get a massage yeah. and just block out everything and then. Well, you've yeah, led absolutely. straight into my um, tip and that is look after yourself when you're working because you, you want to be working because you want to, not because you have to. And mm. I just think that like to work full time or part time um, back having a baby, like you deserve a little treat. Like you deserve to go have that facial or that massage or mm. go get those nails done because that is why you're working. So you have yeah. that money to continue doing those nice things so I think making sure that you don't neglect yourself um, financially and that you do have those splurges it's very easy to say oh but it's fifty dollars or it's a hundred dollars but sometimes you do get the guilt you do think sometimes oh, you do I get, get the guilt yeah. like I can tell you I had I reopened my afterpay and I shouldn't have done that <laughs> and I just you know some people go get massages and I just went shopping yeah and I shouldn't have but you know I enjoy that. But but you know what? You're but working. But I'm for it. But, yeah, but, but you're, yeah, you're yeah, working as a treat. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And, and it does make you, you know, because you, you, you do, you worry about, you know, your weight and you worry about how yeah. you feel and you worry about, you know. So I thought if I if I buy these clothes, I can come back into the office, like, yeah. feeling nicer because I haven't been able to wear that stuff for, you know, a while. I've yeah. been going out for tea or something. But, yeah, it's nice to splurge on yourself a little bit. Yeah. So, yeah. Excellent. Keep you, like, keep yourself yeah. of what, uh, like, being first-time mum, I was very much like, nothing's going to change. Like, I'll stay the way that I am. And, yeah, I went and got my lashes done. Like, she was three weeks old, I think. <laughs> but I was like, it's you know what? Me. I felt terrible when I was laying there the whole time. The lash lady was like, can you just relax? <laughs> like, I can tell that you're thinking about the her. Guilt. And that was yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, so to you've got to keep gu- you. Well, to feel less guilty, um, I would just stick your earbuds in with a podcast. So therefore yeah. you are investing. That is a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Like, how long does it take for your lashes? Oh, an hour. An hour. Actually, yeah. That's pretty good. I was two hours last time. It put oh me God. off. Oh, yeah. No, I used to be and then I changed. Yeah. yeah. Mine's an hour as well. Excellent. Well, there you go. There's your tip. <laughs> it's technically work if you're listening Don't to a podcast. Don't go over an hour with lashes. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for joining me. And um, if you, uh, Shannon and from Property Assist and Casey from SoCo are both on Instagram. It's probably one of their main social media um, um, platforms. So if you do want to get in touch, then feel free to message them. I'm sure they'll be happy to hear from you. Thanks, Thanks Ash.